Hello, welcome back to Nick's program and another few months of work on my action adventure game, Keeper. It's been a while, how is everyone? I'm still alive, don't worry, and I've actually been working somewhat consistently on Keeper since you last heard from me. So I've had this video planned out for months now, since the height of all the Unity drama, but for some reason making videos really stresses me out right now because I need everything to be perfect, and then I end up just putting it off. So it's currently February 28th, and I'm telling myself that I have to make a quick update for the fans of Keeper, and I have one day to do it. If this video gets posted after February 28th, feel free to make fun of me in the comments. So I won't get too much into the Unity drama here, but my stance is that Unity is a pretty great game engine made by skilled engineers. But the Unity leadership is awful, they make terrible decisions, they've let their engines stagnate over the years, and these executives have done nothing to show that they actually care about games or about helping people make games. Which is pretty important to me because it's the main purpose of their entire product. A few months ago, this all culminated with the Unity runtime fee drama, where they tried to make game developers pay them every time one of their games gets downloaded. They eventually went back on this after literally everyone came out and said, hey what are you doing, this is stupid and dumb. But despite all this, the word on the street is that Unity is going to try to do something similar again in the future, and the trust in the company is basically gone now. I don't really know much about what's going on with Unity anymore. I stopped following it because it just annoyed me, and as far as I'm concerned, Unity is kind of dead now. I won't ever start a new game in Unity, and many other studios have said the same. And many games have even switched from Unity to a different engine mid-development, which is an enormous amount of work as you essentially need to redo all the work you've already done. So with everything I've explained, I hope you'll understand just how bad things need to be for game developers to actually move their game to a different engine during development. And I hope you'll understand the decision I made to move this game I've been working on for four years now away from Unity. So to set the scene, the story is now in the summer of 2023, and I'm about to embark on a long, stupid journey to figure out what I'm gonna do. I don't know if anyone else does this, but I started doing a lot of what I'll call pseudo-productive procrastination. Instead of actually working on Keeper, I spent a ton of time doing things that will help me work on Keeper. So I read through piles of books on programming and game design, I watched dozens and dozens of hour-long GDC talks, and I did learn a lot from doing this, but at some point I had to admit to myself that I'm only doing this because consuming other people's content is easy and feels good but creating your own content, in this case Keeper, is hard and feels bad. So it was time to actually get to work, and I came up with the same idea that probably crosses every solo game developer's mind at some point. If I don't want to use Unity anymore, I'll just make my own engine. And I did. So I got this giant book, and I spent an entire week just reading it cover to cover. Here's what I built. I wrote it with C++ and OpenGL, and it worked on Windows and Mac. I spent a few weeks getting rendering to work, I spent a few more weeks letting you add objects to a scene tree and modify them, and I made it so that I could write Python scripts and attach them as components, and that took about a month. And everything was great, and everything worked, and maybe I'd just spend a year making this engine, and then I could finally work on Keeper again. But the thing I eventually realized is that this is not game development, this is engine development. And the engine development doesn't end. You don't just write your own game engine and then make a game with it. You write your own game engine, and then once you finish it and start working on the game, you might still be spending a majority of the time just working on the engine. I think I knew how long this would take before, but I don't think I knew just how long it would take. I don't mean any disrespect to any solo game devs who choose to make their own engine, but for me this really wasn't a good idea. I want to make a game, not an engine. But the most important thing I realized is why should I spend all this time making my own worst version of Unity when I can just use someone else's worst version of Unity? So that's where Godot comes in. At this time, I wasn't sure yet if I wanted to use Godot, so I made a little puzzle game to try it out. Yeah, I like Godot. It's pretty good, almost everything works the exact same way as Unity. So that's when I started rebuilding Keeper from scratch. I started by implementing the basic movement again, but I also added in some new moves like the Dark Souls dodge roll, which is actually really fun to use. I added the inventory, letting the player collect new weapons and switch between them. 
But new in this version, you can also collect different outfits with different abilities and switch between them. Friendship ended with Blue Keeper, now Green Keeper is my best friend. I won't talk about everything new I added because, first of all, spoilers. Second of all, I really can't be bothered to and it would make the video 5 hours long. But I've been working on some new mechanics for the dungeon puzzles. I built out the maps for the three main areas, the grasslands, the lava area, and the graveyard area. Each of which have their own name, but I forgot what I named them and it's buried in my notion board somewhere. And then I started placing the enemies in. Ah yes, the enemies. I actually have a pretty decent cast of enemies in my opinion. Thanks again to Vexed for making the static sprites for a few of these that I then went in and animated. They're all pretty cool if I do say so myself. Like and subscribe if you would die for vampire underscore basic 002. I also did a lot of work on boss battles, but again, spoilers. I also implemented online multiplayer at some point, but I don't have any clips of this because I ripped out all the multiplayer code once I decided I need to stop letting the scope creep demons win. Speaking of online, I decided to abandon my Twitch and I just stream development here on YouTube, on this channel every once in a while. Feel free to stop by. Also remember to smash wishlist gamers, link in description. Please, I graduate in two months, don't make me get a real job. Don't let Keeper guys starve. So yeah, just wanted to let you guys know that I'm still alive and still making some good progress on Keeper. I would really like to have the game released before May this year, so we'll see how that goes. Also join the Discord, link in the description. See you next time, thanks for watching, bye bye.